You stick your key and turn the ignition on, and then the engine starts. Hey guys, um, we need to talk about something. We need to talk about this battery jumper. Um, I wish I had it a long time ago. I think I've had it for like a year. Um, I've used it a lot since then. Um, it saved my butt. Um, the thing is, is when we have AAA, um, that's not always convenient. And what if our phone doesn't even work? Like we can't even call for AAA. And there was a time where I had called AAA. They said they'd be there in an hour. It two hours passed. I called and they said that they're not going to come because their battery service wasn't open anymore. Something like that. I don't know. I think I needed a new battery. Maybe if I just wanted a start, maybe they would have come. I don't know, but you, you can't trust everything. You need backups. Okay. So this is my battery jumper. Um, I look in the description box. Okay. Because there's going to be more information there. I think that like you have to check with your engine to see like how many milliamps or whatever it requires. But um, this one, I've used it so many times actually, because I sometimes I keep my my key in the engine turned or like, I, I don't know what happens, okay? But the, the, the battery goes low. Um, not only is this a battery jumper, um, you can also use it to charge your phones, but I, I never use it for my phones. I mean, I'm reserving this for emergencies. And AV, if I do, if I jump my vehicle, you can do it too. It's so easy. I'll tell you how to do it. It's also a light. It has four modes. Um, it has this window breaker, the hammer. Look at the manual. It comes with a paper manual. The manual is also on the internet. Um... And then, yeah, those are like the additional things that this offers. Um, okay, this is how you this is how you do it. It's really easy. I can't believe how easy it is. Okay, the the manual says to um, fully charge it before you use it, and then to charge it up like every three or four months. But I don't know. Mine tends to stay charged to 100%. So I I don't know if I have to keep charging it or not. I don't know, but even though it's already charged? I don't know. But um, I think they say that it has to be at least 75% charged to use it to jump a vehicle. I've really had no problems with it keeping a charge. I mean, it seems to stay charged like forever. Okay, so basically what you do is, okay, this is where you charge it. It, it uses a type C, which I like. That's like the more modern way of, um, way of charging. Okay. Do you see there's two USB things? So you can charge two phones with this thing if you need to. Um, yeah, so it comes with a charging cord. This is the charging cord. It doesn't come with like the outlet thing, just the USB thing. Now this is what you do. These are the charging cables. Okay. You open up your hood of your vehicle and then this thing, whatever it's called, Okay, you stick, let me just demonstrate here. Okay, you stick this thing, it's so easy. You stick this thing, stick this thing in here, and then you connect this to the positive terminal of your car battery, and this to the negative one, and then you come back in the vehicle, you stick your key and turn the ignition on, and then the engine starts, and then you un dis you disconnect this from your car battery. It's amazing. There was one time where I was like overheated, exhausted, hungry, and I, I just wanted to go to bed. Like I needed to go to bed that minute and my, my vehicle won't start. <laughs> and so this was a lifesaver. I don't know if there's anything else I need to tell you. Let me show you the, the lights. There's four modes. Okay. So, okay. So this is the, the um, battery juice indicator. Okay. So let me show you. It's 100%, 75, 50, 25%. Okay, and you use the same button to turn the light on. Okay, there we go, okay. So it's normal, and then I click it. That's strobe. The next one is SOS, and the next one is warning. It's like the blue and red cough thing. Okay, so, um, yeah, look in the description box. There's different, like, there's different variations of it, but. I wish I had this 
so long ago. I do carry jumper cables, but that takes up a lot of space. I'm still going to keep those, but I don't know. I, I really think everyone should have this thing. I really do. Especially if you're a person like me. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to at, answer or ask questions. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay. Just so you know, once you start your engine with that battery jumper, you have to drive it around just like you would if AAA came out or if you use jumper cables. Um because that's just the jumper, it boosts it, and then you have to charge it up fully. I think it has something to do with the alternator, but I don't know. But anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know about this thing. It's a battery monitor, and I've had this for like forever, and you can stick this in the, the cigarette lighter receptacle thing, and it tells you, it has like, um, the green is if it's good, the yellow if it's so-so, and the red if, it's, if it needs more charging up, if something's wrong with the battery. So I've used this, I think it tells the volts or something like that, but I'll, I'll put this in the description. So if you want it, you can get it too. Okay. Bye.